Good morning, Li Yue. We're currently traveling through Tava with the ultimate goal of obtaining 100,000 free to play Primo Gems. Last time, we successfully raised our monster statue to level 10 and completed the monster Archon quest while witnessing Venti getting slapped by Signora. Don't worry, Venti, we'll get our revenge on her one day. We finished day 3 with 2003 Primo Gems, just 2% of the way there to 100,000. It's currently day 4, and we finally got to AR23 and stepped foot on the land of the Geo, Li Yue. Oh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you guys. Sorry. That was kinda awkward. Before I headed into the Yue Harbor and start the Liyue Archon quest, I did the daily commissions for our daily 60 Primo Gems paycheck. First, we raided a Helutro camp and ruined their slime dinner, fought some Helutro extended families, defeated a Ruin Guard, and cleansed the statue of a seven from some pesky slimes. The commission took us just a bit halfway through AR23. With that, we can finally start to make our way into Liyue Harbor and start the Archon quest. Since I'm not pulling until 100,000 Primo Gems, it's really refreshing to explore the world all over again without any characters I can immediately delete all the enemies. With the starter characters that Hoyovers graciously graced upon us, we scavenged some chests along the way to Liyue. I found the first statue of a seven and resonated with the Osmantis Wine Archon and became a Geo Traveler. I did some side quests for some Liyue Melaliths and cleared out yet another Helitro camp. I got 20 Primo Gems from this quest so I'm happy. As I kept going, I stopped by a nearby inn to register a teleport waypoint and helped make a radish veggie soup. Before that, I stole Zhongling's Sunsetias in broad daylight. And also, by the way, in addition to collecting 100,000 Primo Gems on this account, I'm going to add another goal to this account. I will collect 1,000 Sunsetias, so I'm sorry Zhongling, but your sacrifice won't be in vain. At least you had it better than the Helutro from two days ago, where I interrupted their beauty sleep to pick the Sunsetias off a tree. No! Anyways, I made a radish veggie soup and got another 20 Primo Gems to my account. For this new account, I will most likely do all the world quests that I come across, since those mostly award Primo Gems. I made my way through the ruins and talked to Soraya the Researcher. This world quest has multiple parts to it where I get a treasure at the very end, which most likely is a precious or luxurious chest. I just did one part of this and got 30 Primo Gems out of it, so I'm pretty satisfied. We collected a few Geo Oculi along the way to Liyue Harbor and finally arrived. I took a photo to celebrate, but the sky went dark. Kinda spooky, but whatever. We arrived at Liyue Harbor. Uh, kind of. Instead, I drowned in the fountains, so oops. I hope neither of these Milliliths saw what just happened, because that was kinda embarrassing. Please declare your commercial goods. Uh, you sound bored, so I'll just not disturb you. Have a nice day. Anyways, time for a game plan. Since we're AR23, we will be starting the first part of a Liyue Archon quest. Hopefully I can get enough adventure EXP to get myself to AR25, where I can ascend my characters to a higher level and get to world level 2. I also need to do a bit of exploration in Liyue and get my Geo statue to level 10 for max stamina. So we'll try to gather them along our travels. There are still a bunch of primo gems to gather in the world quests, so we will also do that if we get stuck in adventure rank. So after arriving at Liyue Harbor, we started the Archon Quest. On the way to the Yujin Terrace, I unlocked the teleport waypoint, picked some flowers, and headed towards where the Rite of Dissension took place. The proceedings are not permitted to go any further. Kill Joy. So after witnessing Rex Lapis do a literal plunge attack down from the skies, it was time to make our escape. We got saved by the second Fatui Harbinger we met during this journey, Child. We met back up at a bank and headed out to meet the Adepti. Since I didn't unlock the Liyue Waypoint, I had to travel by foot to the destinations. First, we headed towards Jueyun Karst. I got distracted by a shiny exquisite chest with two Primo Gems in it, so I stole it from the Mitachuro. The stone shield was very hard to break since I didn't have any Claymore characters, so I had to use Overload and attack its back. I picked up a few chests along the way and did another world quest with Childish Jane. This quest was pretty fun, we played hide and seek and I was a seeker. I had to find him a few times and we were awarded with 30 Primo Gems afterwards. Man, if I can get paid to play hide and seek, I would definitely do that.
As we continued, I stopped by a statue of a 7 and leveled up the statue to level 3 for more staminas and primo gems. There is also this big giant lava troll on the way, so I decided to test my strengths by sparring against him. I had 5 characters in my team for this fight. Me, Amber, Lisa, Kaya, and Dendro Samatro. He applied Dendro to the boss, and I was getting some quicken and aggravate reactions. Liyue is very big with a lot of monsters, so after a bit of sweat and tears, we finally made it to Jue Yun Karst and met Moon Karst. A scary looking moose. Our chat got interrupted by some Melolifts and we beat them up. After informing the scary moose what happened to the Geo Archon, he told us to meet another Adepti. So, as a good messenger, we set off to another mountain yet again. On the way, we met this herb gatherer. <sighs> Such a pain not being able to bend down. Same. Anyways, we did some dangerous mountain climbing and I got to another statue of a 7. I glided all the way to the next destination where I had to find Mountain Shaper. On a peak, I met a treasure hoarder. I rescued his brother Li Dang and reunited him. Anyways, we talked to Mountain Shaper. Hmm, I wonder how many fouls will he drop if I can kill him. Mountain Shaper then told us to meet yet another Adepti, Cloud Retainer. We offered up some food for her and went into her domain. The domain was pretty straightforward. You just kill some enemies and go do this fire puzzle. Luckily, I had Amber, so doing this wasn't an issue. Unless, of course, you only have Xiangling as your sole pyro character here. So we informed Cloud Retainer of the fate of Rex Lapis. Who would dare? We were then tasked to meet, you guessed it, Another Adepti. I swear, if they make me look for yet another Adepti, then I'll probably go crazy. To the blood. What the? You scared me. So we met our favorite angry boy, and as always, he didn't want to speak to mere mortals, so we had to cook him an almond tofu. Too bad the chef is too scared of a little ghost, so we had to resolve it first before we can continue. Okay, that's actually a bit scary. No, I'm out. Well, we were forced to confront Dusty Ming, and she possessed this ruin hunter, so it's time to fight it. I cheesed it with Geo Traveler and went back to Wang Jiuin. The chef finally got back to work and cooked us an almond tofu. You're looking a bit short there, Xiao. Do you need a hand? Short jokes aside, after we finally talked to Xiao, we got to AR-25. We can finally head back to Liyue Harbor and meet up with Child. And after that, we finished the Act 1 of the Archon Quest. Since we got to AR-25, we could ascend our characters to level 50 now. So before we start on Act 2, let's speed up some monsters. Ow. I still need some shards to ascend my characters, but before that, I will most likely do the Ascension Domain first and raise the world level to 2. I also did a Genshin survey and took out the Primo Gems that were in my mailbox. So the total Primo Gem count currently is 3,367. So we are 3% of the way to 100,000 Primo Gems. But right now, my wallet is shaking. For those of you that don't know, I'm making a bet with you guys to see whether or not I can get to 100,000 Primo Gems on this account before I get to 100,000 subscribers. If I don't make it in time, I will have to wear 100 k on my main account, which will cost around $1,500. We're already 84% of the way to 100k, so it's looking bad for me. But yeah, subscribe if you want to join along the journey to 100k primo gems on this account, and also do a dent to my wallet. And we'll see you in the next video.